in this video i will teach you how to set up webster so first thing is that go to your browser and search for vs code download and then click on the first thing and then download the vs code according to your operating system in my case it is mac os but i have already downloaded it so just download and follow the instructions it's very simple the next thing you want to download is node.js now uh, search for node.js download and then click on the first link and uh, select the LTS and then choose your operating system in my case it is Mac OS but I have already downloaded it so just download it and just follow the instruction it is very easy to install node.js inside your system now once this is done open your VS code and now let's check if the uh, node.js has been successfully installed in our system or not so to not do that just create a new terminal and just write node v. so this will uh, you know display the current version of the node it means that this version has been installed inside your system and then we are good to go ahead so next thing you want to do is to download the Webster source code from the Code Canyon. In my case, I've downloaded it and it is in my desktop folder. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to VS Code and click on Open Folder, and then I'll go to Document and select the Webster folder and click on Open. Okay, so uh, my folder has been opened. Now uh, let's change the application name so in order to do that so uh, so uh, let's go to google chrome and go to uh, open ai search openai.com and click on api and then sign up if you don't have an open ai account but I already have an OpenAI account, so I will click on login. Okay, then click on the profile icon and then click on the API keys. Now click on create a new secret key and this will generate a new secret key. So just copy it, click on OK and then go to your VS code, open the Webster folder and click on server.env and uh, replace this with your own uh, secret key. So and hit save. Okay, so uh, we have pasted our API key inside our uh, source code and let's close that and now we are going to change the name of the website so in my case it is webster i'm going to change it to ask me so go to uh, the index.html file and over here you can see the title so the title is the uh, this is the title so you can change it to whatever you want to i'm gonna change it to ask me and then I'm going to scroll down and over here at line 139 I'm going to change the uh, title name from Webster to ask me and the title short name to A and also the uh, tagline to ask ask me okay and now we have to also change the same thing inside the home folder so click on home folder and open the html file and change the title scroll down and at line 271 to change the title name of the website to ask me and tag to ask me uh, and 
if you want to change the tag line you can also do that at line 280 i'll change it to webster to ask me and yeah that's it okay so uh i'm going to run this and check if my settings has been successfully set up or not so uh, click on terminal click on new and just uh, copy the same command and type cd dot client which will take us to the client folder and then type npm run dev so uh, this will create a link for our website on our local host so just click on it and there you can see uh, the title has been changed and our um, uh, title of the website inside the web, web page has also been changed the placeholder has been changed i mean everything has been changed as you can see over here also but we want to change the favicon of the website also so in order to do that just uh, go to your folder and i already have a image which is my favicon image but it is in P, uh, jpg format i want to convert it into the favicon extension which is the uh, icon so to do that go to google and search for favicon generator and then click on the first link favicon app icon generator and then choose your image and click on open and click on generate only 16 into 16 favicon icon and this will create our favicon so click on download the generated favicon and there you go we have our favicon file with the extension which we wanted so i'm going to copy it this will look blur because it is 16 by 16 don't worry about that and then go to client public and click on reveal in finder or open in folder depending on your system and just paste it over here and then replace it with the old one now uh, let's check if it is added or not okay there you can see it has been added and uh, so now let's set up our server side because um, our client side has been added it is working perfectly as we wanted now click on terminal new uh, now this time type now this time type cd server so this will take you to the server folder and just uh, write this command npm run server so this will start our server this will create a link and we have to go to that link to start our server okay so uh, our server has been started now uh let me change the language to english first of all and then check if it's working or not so i'm gonna ask so i'm gonna ask uh write me a song about train okay so it is working and you can see the output so our uh, server is also working which means our api has key has been successfully pasted inside the server so now the only thing is remaining is to deploy this website into a hosting okay so now we are going to deploy it to the server so go to your chrome and search for render.com and create an account over here i've already created it so i'm going to click for get started and this will take you to the dashboard after completing the sign up or login process then click on new web service okay so before this uh, go to your github and if you don't have a github, a GitHub account you can create it and this is a very necessary step so you will have to create your github account now go over here and click on new and then just uh, type your project name you can give the description it is optional please uh, remember to check the private uh, option in order to make your project private which 
which means no one except you will be able to access it now click on create and there we go so now go to your VS code and click on new terminal and type get in it command and then you have to type get add and then you have to type get add dot after that copy this command get commit slash m first commit and then copy this git branch slash main and then copy this code and after that you have to copy this code and this is asking me to sign in to my github so i will allow it Okay, so now Okay, so uh, let's go to our uh, github and let's refresh it So you can see my source code has been uploaded uh, in on my github successfully now go to render dashboard and click on refresh and you will be able to see the project we just now created over here so this is the project name asking so just click on connect and you have to write your uh, project name this is going to be the url so just type the project name in my case it is ask me and the region you will have to select the, your nearest region in my case it is singapore so in branch it is going to be main and then the root it is going to be server so now this is an important step so remember to set the root directory to server and the build command is yarn and this is going to be npm run server so remember to set the start command to npm run server and your settings should be the same or it won't work select free and click on create web service okay so it is deploying and it is in progress till that time click on environment and click on add environment variable and under key just go to your source code and go to your env file copy the open api key so this is going to be the key and the value is going to be our api key so just copy the api key and paste it over here click on save changes go to your events and it is being deployed so let's wait and we will get back once deployment is done so in my case the deployment has been failed so i don't know it might be some issue with the render but uh, let's click on manual deploy and clear build page and deploy now let's wait till that it gets completed and this time it will get deployed okay so you can see that it is live which means it has successfully deployed this time and you can copy the url and paste it over here and you should be able to see this message which means our server is running perfectly now we have to deploy our front end part so uh, let's close the render okay before closing uh, i'm going to copy this url and then i'm going to close this And also, I'm going to close this. Now, uh, I'm going to minimize the terminal, close this, and I'm going to go to uh, the client part and and open the script your.js file. And I will scroll down to the line. Okay, I'll scroll down to the line 203 and paste the source code over here. Now uh, keep in mind to add this or else it won't work and let's scroll down and paste it over here also at line 290. So you have to paste the URL at both the uh, line I've said and click on save and now go to your terminal 
uh, we will go to the previous terminal on which we have worked before and just type uh, get add dot and then type get commit m and then I will say uh, updated URL hit enter and then type get push okay so uh, this will work uh, as you can see uh, it, might, it will be updated okay you see uh, it has been updated just now okay so uh, I will go to uh, Netlify and the reason why I'm adding it to Netlify is that because uh, it is free to use and for this tutorial I'm uploading it to a free server you can also upload it to your own server like GoDaddy hosting or whatever you have and uh, in the same way as I'm doing it right now just drag and drop the client file inside your server and that's it so uh, let's go ahead to Netlify and create an account I already have an account so I'm going to click on get started for free so uh, over here under sites it says you can import it from github or uh, you can deploy it manually so i'm going to deploy it manually i'm going to go to documents and this is my source code and we just have to upload the client folder so just drag and drop inside it and let's wait okay so now it has been launched see uh, it was very easy like just drag and drop and that's it our site is now live as you can see and um, if i type let's say help me with the writing a blog about react and i'm going to search for it then It's going to answer me. Uh, no, I mean, it's going to write a blog for me. So, as you can see, it is writing. So, it means our website is working perfectly. Our languages are also there. Night and day mode is working perfectly. Voice reply is also working. So, this is it. And now let's go ahead and let's try to change the URL of the website. So, go to site settings and change the site name. And change it to ask me. Okay, so uh, that is taken. Okay, there we go. So our site name has been changed, which means our URL has also been changed. And you can also, uh, you know, uh, change your uh, site name to your own custom URL, or you can also upload it to your own server if you have any with your own URL. You can also add URL which means you will just need a url and not the server and you can use netlify for hosting and connect your url to netlify or else if you have server you can connect it to that also and if you if you don't have neither of them you can just do the same as me and so uh, you can see the website is working perfectly so that's it now um, if you have any doubt you can contact me and if you want me to install then the uh, cost for installation for extended license is free but if you are buying a regular license then you will have to pay ten dollars for the installation service so thank you